Alright, welcome back to a, another Reptile Jones video. And in this video, we are going to talk about setting up isopods. So these are the isopods that I had picked up at the last reptile show I attended. And this is not going to be ideal for propagating these guys. So we're going to move them up into something bigger. So that way we can get a bunch of babies to be added to uh, my vivariums. And uh, hopefully, eventually, uh, have some for you guys as well. So here is everything I used to make these new permanent setups. I used Zilla's Jungle Mix as the base to my substrate. I mixed in some of this horticulture charcoal. I also sprinkle in some of Josh's Bioactive Booster. All right, so now let's get into the build of these new setups. So I'm gonna go with Zilla uh, as my substrate here. I just like all the ingredients they have in there for a relatively uh, pretty decent price. Um, the only thing I will add, just a few things to tailor this substrate for the cultivation of isopods but uh yeah this is this is just a good product to start with I'm just getting the clumps out there and uh, now we're going to add in the charcoal and the main reason I add this is just it helps keep the culture fresh um, especially since this is going to be for my breeding colonies um, I, I just want to make sure that substrate is going to last as long as I can as it can so that's what the the charcoal does helps eliminate any kind of smell potentially um, and then I add in this bioactive now I don't know if this is really needed but it works great for the bioactive setup so I thought why not put it in here and uh, see what it does for the the setups and then I add in some leaf litter that I collected over uh, the fall and that's been dried out in my garage for oh, almost two months now. And then I'm going to add that in there. That just helps keep the soil from compacting, gives the isopods something to uh, kind of munch on and to crawl around in because they don't like to be out in the open. They like to hide and stuff. So I just find that helps, helps the isopods a lot. And then uh, this is just a couple branches that were also in my yard. Uh, again, it's just for more to add cover to for the isopods to hide under. Um, in the wild, I typically can find them underneath rotting logs, so I thought, why not? And then I just moistened it because they don't like to be dry. And of course, here we're going to add the zebra isopods. So I'm just going to kind of shake these guys off because uh, I want them on top of the soil and then for them to find their way and burrow into the soil, soil themselves. There we can see they're, they're right there on top. We'll get a better look at them here toward the end of the video. And of course here are the blues and in the very top of the screen that was the orange isopods I already set, the, set them up. So again, we're just going to uh, gently shake these guys off. And so let's take a look at the isopods once they've been added to the setup. 